Hello! Welcome to Teach Me Maths. I'm Jonathan Hicks and today we're looking at subtraction! So subtraction is very similar to addition. If you don't know how to add up yet, go and watch the addition video because you really need to know how to do that before you can do subtraction and then come back here. So this is the method for uh, subtracting any two numbers you like. So we'll just dive right in with an example. Uh, let's have 87 minus 42. So you lay it out like this, just the same as the addition, except you've got a minus sign here instead of your plus sign. And again, you just add it, uh, subtract it rather, in columns, working from the right hand side. Okay, so 7 minus the 2 gives you 5, that goes there. 8 minus the 4 gives you 4 for 45. No problem at all. Except that, as you probably realise, if the number on the bottom is bigger than the number on the top, then we have a little bit of an issue. Okay, let me show you. So we'll try. 243 minus 85. How about that? Okay, so again in columns from the right hand side. Now you must lay out your columns properly here again, just like addition. So units column, tens column, hundreds column. Don't be putting your eight over here or anything like that. Yeah, the eight goes in the tens column because it's 80, 85. If you're not sure about the columns, go and watch the place value video. Place value is the name of the topic where everything goes in the right column. Okay, so we're going to subtract from the right, so it's 3 minus 5, but you can't do that because the 5 is too big. So what we have to do here is just use a trick, okay, that's all it is, a little trick which allows you to then do the subtraction. You're going to borrow from the 4, okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do this first and then I'll explain why it works, alright. So you knock the 4 down by 1, the 4 goes down to a 3, and then you add 1 onto this column, okay. So that goes down by 1 and you put the 1 there which makes this 3 into a 13. Now you can do the subtraction, 13 minus 5 gives you 8, great. What's going on there? Well, the thing is that that is not a 4, I know it looks like a 4 but really it's a 40, yeah, remember this is 243. So when you're knocking the 4 down to a 3, what you're actually doing is knocking 40 down to 30, so you've taken 10 away from that column. Now if you're going to take 10 away from this column, then in order to make it balanced, to keep the number the same, you need to add 10 onto this column. But if you've just got a single digit here, like a 3, the way you add 10 onto a 3 is you just stick a 1 next to it. Yeah, that makes it into 13, it's 10 bigger. So we've taken 10 away from there, 40 down to 30, and we've added 10 onto there, the 3 went to 13. Okay, So that's what's really going on behind the scenes. And then you can just carry on doing that all the way along. Okay, So 13 minus 5 gives you 8. Then you're going to do the 3 minus the 8. Oh, this is too big again, so we need to borrow. This time we borrow from the 2. So you knock it down by 1, put your 1 here. That makes this 3 into a 13 again. 13 minus 8 gives you 5. And then 1 minus the nothing gives you 1. For 158. Great! However, there is one other slight hiccup you might encounter. Let me show you. We'll try 602 minus 247. Okay, so 2 minus the 7. Can't do that, but that's okay. We'll just borrow from the... Oh, there's nothing there to borrow from. What do we do now? Well, in this case, because there's nothing here, you've got to borrow from the 6 first, okay? That's all it is. You just keep going along until you get something that you can borrow from, okay? So you borrow from the 6, you knock that down to a 5, that goes down by 1, you put a 1 here, and that makes your 0 into a 10. Now I've got something to borrow from. So I can knock the 10 down to a 9 and add 1 onto here. Yep, that goes down by 1, you put the 1 onto here. So the 2 becomes a 12, and now I can do the subtraction. 12 minus 7 gives me 5, 9 minus 4 gives me 5 as well, and 5 minus 2 gives me 3. So the final answer is 355. I'm Jonathan Hicks and you've been watching Teach Me Maths.